Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I'm Christine Horn. What's up? This is episode 215 of Actors Daily Bread. Today's episode came from a DM I got on Instagram, and I was like, ooh, this is juicy. Let's talk about it. So the, today's topic is, are you acting or cheating? Mm. Get into it, episode 215. Oh my gosh, come on in the room. If this is your first time watching, put one in the comments. I'm live on Instagram. What's up, Instagram? I'm live on Facebook. What's up, Facebook, right? Hey, Orlando, hey, Janine, right? Uh, if you're an OG member, you've been watching me for a while, put OG in the comments. So all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. I'm excited to get into this today. Um, Seriously, so let me tell you what had happened. Okay, I don't have a lot of time because I have to, my inner circle, that's my VIP private coaching program. We have a call in less than 30 minutes. So I have to, I can't be long-winded today on this Monday. But let me tell you what happened. Y'all ready? So I got this DM in my Instagram and I literally was, look. I get so many uh, DMs and replies. I've lost the person's name and I wouldn't say their, their real name anyway, but this is what happened. This woman emails me. I hope you're watching this. You know who you are. She DMs me and she says, Christine, I need your help. And I'm so sorry I'm just getting to this because it was like a couple weeks ago. I'm busy, girl. Um, and so she emails me and she says, I'm new to acting and I'm working in this acting class um, and I have a scene study partner and we did a scene where we had to kiss. And so she said, this is all new to me. It's new to my, you know, my family, my husband. And she's like, so we, we've been practicing the scene and the guy kisses her in class. And she's like, she, she wasn't like offended that she got kissed. She was just like, it threw her. And she was like, I feel like I'm cheating on my husband. And I don't know what to do. And can you please do a video about this? And I'm so late because she's probably already dealing with this in class. But I thought, I've heard this come up before with some of my other clients where they had an audition, a self-tape, and um, or they booked a gig. I remember another client, I won't say your name, but she booked a gig and she was like, Christine, I feel like I'm cheating on my husband. I'm supposed to be lovey-dovey with this guy and rubbing him and he's supposed to be my husband. and." You know, having literal internal turmoil about this. Have, have been, has anyone ever related to this? This was never really a problem for me. <laughs> but I understand and I'm sensitive to the fact that it is, it is just a weird thing. So I want to talk about this today. Um, being intimate is just already weird, period, with strangers. Let's just start there. I think I've talked about this in many of my videos um, where... You know, I meet somebody at lunch, I get called to set, I meet somebody at lunch, and after lunch, I'm supposed to be kissing them. Like on one of my podcast episodes, I'm, I'm talking about this, right? So it is just odd. So I just want to give some, some tips or just some things to think about when it's time for you to be like, uh, ba, 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 ow, <laughs> with somebody, whether in acting class or on set. So first of all, let's just be underst understand that we're all professionals, right? Pe I swear, non-actors be like, they doing it. Oh no, they was having sex for real. It's like, no, they not having sex for real. Uh, they're actors. <laughs> like, I understand someone's body parts may be flailing on camera. This is probably is not a PG-13 episode. I understand somebody's, <laughs> our body parts might be shown. But understand, there's a whole crew of people standing around with lights and, and microphones. And even when they have a closed set, there are still um, a lot of people in the room. So it's just uncomfortable, number one. And so all we can do is know that we're coming in to be professional. And look, men have, y'all got it harder as far as... No pun intended, just keep it professional, Christine. Y'all have a bigger challenge in making sure your situation is <laughs> taken care of, okay? So number one, we just gotta stay professional. Listen, if you're just popping on, 
I'm tickling myself, literally. Um, this is episode 215. We're talking about, are you acting or are you cheating, honey? When you have these intimate scenes. So seriously, we're all professional. That's number one. And just know also, it's weird for everybody. Even if you have two super attractive people, it is just weird for everybody because you're being stared at. You got all kinds of crew members. So when you know that you're not the only one who feels uncomfortable, that should bring you some relief as well. And I'm saying this because this is the conversation, those of you who have significant others who don't quite understand how this whole thing works, you wanna have this conversation with them. Like, look, this is pretend. I know it looks really real on TV, right? And not to insult anybody's intelligence, but sometimes people think people are literally having sex for real on, on movies, like, like just legit films, okay? We together, right? So having that conversation is not something to take lightly. If you're, you know your partner, you know your spouse, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, if they might be uncomfortable, right? Um, this might be the thing like, oh man, um, I'm gonna have to kiss somebody. I'm gonna have to sleep with somebody in the scene. Maybe you just go ahead and talk about it ahead of time. Um, that way it's not a shock. That way, when your partner comes to see you in the project, you can be like, oh, it's coming up. So <laughs> there are way too many puns coming out of my mouth today. Oh, my gosh. I need to just quit. I need to just go home. Okay. Focus, Christine. Let me stick to my, <laughs> stick to my list of things to say. I want you to also tr trust the process. Okay, I see you guys. Listen, I can't even help. This is it's a sensitive subject. What can I say? Trust the process and understand that and accept that the job that we have as actors, it's not a regular nine to five. It all, it, it's weird already. So going in, expect it to feel a little weird. Acknowledge it. Know that you and your partner probably both feel the same. On one of my podcast episodes, I shared, got my, I have the fan on it. It's making my eyes tear. On one of my podcast episodes, I shared a story about a feature film that I did called Rogers Park. You can check it out on Amazon. And the guy who played one of my love interests, um, one of them, we had to shoot all of his scenes in one day, you know, for budget and time. So it was like, hi, good morning. Nice to meet you. Okay. In a couple of hours, we're going to be in bed naked. Okay. Um, I was like, we're going to need wine. That's number one, um, because it was just weird, right? So understand that. <laughs> but here's a tip that I want to, a real tip I want to share with you. So outside of staying professional and know that it's weird for everybody, this is a trick that I use, and it may not work for you. And this is for, and I hope, again, to the woman who sent me this DM, I'm sorry I don't remember your name, and I wouldn't say it anyway, but um, I hope you're watching this. You got to know you and your heart, right? But if you... Let me give you my tip first. My, this is a tip that I personally use, and that is to fall in love with something. Fall in love with something for the day, for the shoot, whether it's one day or two weeks or a month. Fall in love with something. Here's what I mean. I'm not saying fall in love with the person, but I'm always preaching about the eyes tell no lies. The camera is a lie detector. When you're not connected, we can tell. If you're disgusted by somebody, someone turns you off, it will show on camera. It, you, we've all seen a movie or a TV show, you're like, I don't see them together. Like they don't even have no chemistry. It's because they didn't do that work. That's why when you're on a project and you have someone who's your significant other, you're supposed to be intimate in any way. That's why the, the team usually says, go out to eat, go get a, some drinks together. You have to bond and you gotta bond quick. You don't have the luxury of, of time. And so I, will, I don't care if you fall in love with somebody's eyebrows, like even if the person is not attracted to you, be like, man, Something about their ears, really? They got nice ears. Man, Orlando, man, he got some nice eyebrows. <laughs> Deneen, her teeth are beautiful. And like only focus on the thing that you feel is positive because from there, you can, that, we will see that. We will literally feel it. We won't know what the thing is specifically, but we will feel some kind of care and some kind of a, um, attraction. But if you're so like, nope, I'm married, I'm married, I've got a boyfriend, i got a girlfriend, nope, 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 and you have this wall up, we're going to feel it. You're going to have to let yourself be free knowing that you are coming back to you. You're still you. This is still your life, 
right? But that's a trick that I use. I fall in love with something for the day. And listen, again, I'm going to say it again. We have a unique job. How luck? I mean, I remember shooting an uh, episode of Ray Donovan, and the episode was at a strip club. It was the scene I had with John Voight, amazing day I had. But it was at a strip club, and there was a bunch of naked ladies up in there, and it was some of the extras. And I kept looking at the extras like, I'm sorry, background actors. I was like, oh, what a tough job you guys have today. You got a tip. Oh, you got to keep giving this fake money to these naked ladies all day. I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> Like, let's be real. Like, we have a unique job that has some perks, okay? You don't got to go home and tell your boo, I was staring at naked ladies all day, like, making it rain on these naked... Like, don't go tell your girlfriend or your wife that. Don't do that, right? Keep it professional. But let's not pretend like it's not fun. Can we be real? It's not... When I have a super attractive partner... I'm like, okay, well, this is what we're doing today. Make my job easy. I don't got to search for something to fall in, fall in love with. I'd be like, I like your face. I like your arms. I like your legs. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to be able to do, this is helping me do my job. It's part of my process, right? It's part of my process. If you're picking up what I'm putting down, let me know. Facebook, y'all quiet. Instagram is already is on fire. Another thing is to be true to the moment. I think I said this, but seriously, just know in the moment, be true to it. Now on set, we have intimacy coordinators on most SAG sets. You know, that's a whole new thing that got passed. So now there's someone actually on set to make sure you're being touched in the way that is okay for you, that you feel safe, and you're not doing anything that you don't feel comfortable with. But no one can be in your head. It's still your job as the actor to Find the thing to fall in love with, to be sure that you are exuding love, lust, sexual energy, tension, whatever that is. It's the reason why we love watching romantic uh, movies and watching the leading man and the leading lady because there's something there. And you will find on your next gig that you have someone and you are connected with someone, you're gonna have, you gotta talk in between, in between cuts, in between when they're resetting. Sit there and talk. Don't rush back to your trailer. If you keep keeping yourself separate, that's what's going to show up on screen. Even in person, when you're doing a scene study class, like you got to get to know somebody. The last thing I want to just say is if you're still feeling like I, I'm struggling really being free because I still feel like I'm cheating, like I've never been with anyone one else or I just feel like this is dishonest. At the end of the day, that comes down to you. And when you're new, when a newer actor, you may not always know how to turn it on and turn it off. And so maybe that's the thing. And I think the only thing, the only thing that will help that process is for you to just keep being in process is to keep trying these characters on. The more you audition, the more you work, you realize, oh, take that off, put this one on. Take this one off, put that one on. It is just, I'm not so attached to something I can't let it go. So my last thing for you to think about today is what you do after you rap, that's on you. Now, if you slide in numbers and give me your Instagram and let's slide in the DMs and why don't you call me later, like what you do after that is on you. And that's what you got to deal with. You got to own that. But if you're no, if you know you're approaching this professionally, you're a professional, they're a professional, then that's it. But let's also keep it real. <laughs> like we already have it. I got to go. I can't. I don't have a lot of time. I got another class at five. So <laughs> that it's no. <laughs> I'm gonna say it just because it's it is what it is. Every now and then, people. Fall in love on set, for real, for real. Happened with, what's that couple from Empire? I forget, I forget their real names. Boo Boo Kitty and the guy. People meet on set all the time. And it is a love connection, honey. And they weren't even, they weren't even, um, they weren't together on the show. But they were co-workers. So just like working at your office or working at the re a restaurant, you might be waiting tables, bartending. No difference. Sometimes you meet people at work and there's a connection because you're human. And if you are both in alignment, then go for it. It does happen, right? 
So I hope that helps to the sister who emailed me on Instagram. And I hope you watch this. It's a process, but only you will know if you are cheating or if you are acting. But these are ways that you can get used to this and just know like you are like a lucky son of a gun that you get to hug up on cute people for a living. <laughs> I think that's a fantastic perk to my job, by the way. Um, I, don't, I don't have a problem with muscles. I mean, I really don't. Not like everybody's muscle bound, but let me just check some of these comments and then we will go. <laughs> hey, Brian Howard, he said, preach it. Trafina Wade, hey. Hey, Marika, hey, Sarah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Jermaine said, nice cover up. Oh, man, what y'all got to say? Brandon says, I'm researching that area of intimacy direction coordinator it's a beautiful occupation i'm sure and i'm so grateful for it because i have been in a i've been in some auditions where i felt like was this were we supposed to do that you know what i mean so having someone there to back me up is always nice <laughs> brandon said you got to go through the fire like shaka did <laughs> all right i have to teach in like 10 minutes for my inner circle. But um, this has been a juicy conversation. Again, it's for the grown-ups. if you end up watching the replay. <laughs> uh, Tafina says she don't have a problem with the muscles either. But you know what? I'm joking about muscles, but that's assuming your partner is fine. So see, the real acting challenge comes in where you are not attracted to that person. That's where that tip of the third tip I gave of fall in love with something really comes in handy. I've had to use that before. Like, man, you have some nice knuckles. Like, your knuckles are popping. Can you? <laughs> Honey, whatever you got to do, whatever you got to fall in love with, fall in... it's for the sake of the work, guys. All jokes aside, it's for the sake of the work. I don't want to be the one on camera looking disconnected. I, that, not on my watch. <laughs> yes, nice knuckles, Diego. I'm saying I got, sometimes you got to search. Sometimes that's all there is. <laughs> Listen, oh gosh. I remember doing a play with a man who smoked cigarettes nonstop, would not eat a mint, and I had to kiss him down. When I say you got to search, I'm speaking from experience. All right. Well, my inner circle, y'all are in for a treat because I'm pumped up. It's Monday. I'm usually pumped on Monday. <laughs> Attractive earlobes. Yes, Brandon. All right. I love you guys. I'm so grateful to be in your life. I'm so inspired by... All of you, thank you for emailing me. Thank you for the DMs. Thank you for the ideas for show topics. If you, you're new, you're like, what the hell is this lady talking about? This is Actors Daily Bread. And uh, this is episode 215. So come on, check out the past episodes. If you're new to me, new to my world, I have my get my free Get Booked Playbook. It, Facebook, the link is above. Instagram is in, on my bio. Grab that, it's free. It's some free training for me that will really help you out. And yeah, just rock this week out. You know, if you can only get one thing done, be clear on what that is and uh, just go for it. Remember that you have a gift that the world needs to see. So don't cheat us of that gift. Your purpose has to be bigger than your fear. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Have a great night. Bye.